the Habsburg Dynasty in five minutes. Brought to you by Everything Peace of Westphalia. The Habsburgs are a royal family from Switzerland. At their height, they ruled much of Europe and the rest of the world. They were at the center of European politics for 500 years. The Habsburgs originated in the canton of Argau. They achieved prominence in the 13th century under Rudolf I, who became king of Germany in 1273. Rudolf also conquered Austria, which would become the base of future Habsburgs' power. With the accession of Frederick III in 1452, the Habsburgs began their reign as emperors that would last, with one brief exception, until the dissolution of the empire in 1806. Frederick arranged the marriage of his son Maximilian to Mary of Burgundy, heir to the collection of territories that the Burgundian dukes had been building up in the 15th century. This was a major accretion of territory to the Habsburg patrimony, but it also brought them into conflict with France, which would remain their rival for two centuries. But that's not all. Maximilian and Mary's son, Philip the Fair, was wed to Joanna, only surviving child of Ferdinand and Isabella, the monarchs of Aragon and Castile. Therefore, Philip and Joanna's eldest son, Charles, inherited the newly united Kingdom of Spain, along with the Burgundian territories and the traditional Habsburg lands in Austria. Charles V's great inheritance of Spain, Burgundy, and Austria was further increased by marriage alliances that brought Bohemia and Hungary together under his brother, Ferdinand I, after the last Hungarian monarch, Louis II, died at the Battle of Mohács in 1526. Spanish conquistadors conquered huge territories in the Americas, and Portugal's overseas empire in Brazil, Africa, and India also came under the control of Charles' son, Philip II, following the death of the last Portuguese king of the Aviz dynasty in 1580. At this point, in the late 16th century, the Habsburgs had reached their height. They ruled six major European kingdoms, numerous lesser territories, and virtually all of the land that Europeans had conquered overseas. Most of this had been obtained through marriages, hence the saying, Others make war, you, happy Austria, marry. Of course, there was more to their expansion than the luck of inheritance, especially considering that several of the territories they ruled were elective. But it is true that the Habsburgs rarely evinced military genius and owed their position to statecraft more than to warcraft. Already by this time, Habsburg lands had been divided. Charles V was the only Habsburg to be both king of Spain and emperor. He left the Spanish and Burgundian lands to his son Philip II, and the Austrian crown, along with Bohemia and Hungary, to his brother Ferdinand. The two branches in Spain and Austria had distinct interests, but they maintained close relations, including a tradition of intermarriage. Intermarriages with cousins and nieces may have kept the alliance together, but it nearly ended the dynasty by making each generation weaker and less fertile. When the last Habsburg king of Spain, Charles II, died in 1700, the best claimant was a descendant of Francis Louis XIV, who had married a Spanish princess as part of the Peace of the Pyrenees in 1659. As a result, the Spanish lands came under control of France, the Habsburgs' archenemy. A similar problem occurred in Austria, where Charles VI died without a male heir in 1740. Charles went to great lengths to convince his neighbors to support the accession of his daughter, Maria Theresa, via the Pragmatic Sanction. Although several states broke their agreements, leading to two major wars, Maria maintained most of her realms, and the Habsburg line continued as the House of Habsburg-Lorraine. The Habsburgs could not avoid the great changes that the French Revolution brought to Europe. Napoleon defeated Austria several times, eventually agreeing to a marriage alliance with the emperor's daughter, Marie-Louise. After Napoleon crowned himself emperor of France in 1804, Holy Roman Emperor Francis II declared that Austria was also an empire, and he was its first emperor. Under this title, the Habsburgs continued to rule in Central Europe after the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806. It was a multinational empire that included Czechs, Italians, and Hungarians, as well as Germans. The empire lost its Italian territories and was forced to recognize Hungary as a co-equal part of the empire, changing its name to Austria-Hungary in 1867. The Habsburgs continued to reign until their empire was broken up following their defeat in World War I. Although long viewed as an anachronistic veneer over nationalities striving to be independent, in recent years many, including those in the former Habsburg lands in Central Europe, 
have become nostalgic about the monarchy and appreciate the stability that it brought to the region. Fun facts about the Habsburgs. Habsburg men are noted for their prominent jaw. The legend of William Tell has him killing an oppressive official in the Swiss canton of Uri. That official worked for the Habsburgs. In his portentous marriage to Mary of Burgundy, Maximilian I is considered the first to have given a diamond engagement ring to his fiancée. The son of the last ruling emperor, Otto von Habsburg, renounced his royal titles in 1961 so he could return to Austria. He died in 2011. Successive Habsburg emperors in the 17th century were talented composers whose works you can still listen to today. The Habsburgs declared a new empire in 1804, the same year as Napoleon. Their empire outlasted Napoleon's by over a hundred years.